but what caught my attention is not only the non-kinetic and kinetic and, you know, being able to utilize assets in space, high altitude, but low altitude, even integrating it into buildings and infrastructure across the homeland is how do you prevent shooting down a passenger aircraft? So to your point, there's a lot of regulation that's going to happen, but I think that's where you're going to see the fast tracking of all of this. And it was like, oh my gosh, uh, you know, I can't believe, you know, that there's this many out there. So that's, that's also the part, but when you're when you're relying on an aircraft that that relies on those to navigate and you know fly and everything else and that's not slowing down and that's also one of the biggest issues with it right is the more that we go towards that and needing things controlled you know via satellite or other areas and obviously you know they're trying to move away from that but other aspects they're not right because they want to be able to do like taxiing and different things like that via satellite command so that way you don't have to forward deploy um the personnel anymore and you can have them all just operate stateside um with it and then all i have to worry about sending down range is the is the mechanics and technicians and i don't have to worry about sending air crew via there but then i'm adding more on to the bandwidth discussion uh with all of that because that's one of the biggest things right so that's what i've called big data bottleneck latency sensor mm -hmm. overload in a sensor fusion world but yet at the same time you only have so much bandwidth and so as a as an advocate uh a technologist whose last company prior to ale was all about edge computing is how do i get that edge computing into the hands of not only the warfighter the squad and the platoon and then how do we have fixed and mobile edge node stationed in theater around the world similar to the way we use beaconing of aircraft for you know for traditional aircraft that's a huge topic to unpack that's just mm -hmm. like a whole generation of systems needs to be built just to deal with that in today's world you have to you, you've got to have the tools involved to transmit it you've got to have the tools involved to store it um as well right but again you've got to have the infrastructure to be able to store all that too uh at the end of the day and you know when you're and and we're not talking about 20 minute video clips here either right you're t you know we just talked about you know 20 30 plus hours um i mean our squadron operated around the clock 24 7 365 and so again all that data needed to be stored